Get up. Show isn't about to take the gun off him for a moment, is he? Ace isn't putting up any kind of fight. I mean, I don't think I would either, but he looks drained. I guess he's going for the door, huh? He doesn't need to verify to go through that door, but... Hey, what's your plan, Santa? What are you doing? He can't get through any number of doors with just two people. What is he thinking? Didn't I tell you? I'm Santa Claus. It's time for me to go make a wish come true. That's it? That's all he's gonna give us? What the heck does that even mean? They're out. And now the gate's been shut. Looks like the rest of us are stuck in here. They're all looking at me. At least Seven's headache is gone. He seems to be alright. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. Let's see if this door still opens. Damn. Well, it looks like this door isn't opening anytime soon. Oh, you mean we're trapped? So it would seem. What the hell is Santa trying to do? I still want to know what is going on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? Have you considered where we are? There can really only be one thing Santa would do now. Please tell me he's not going to kill us. No. No, you can't be serious. Oh, but he is. Oh no, we've got to do something. Maybe we can still get out through door 9. There's the red. Yeah, alright, we can do this. I just gotta... No, it's not gonna work. There's no way. The 5 of us can't open this door. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 is 8. Which is 26. Which is 2 plus 6, which is 8. Is there any other combination that'll work? Junpei, can I borrow your pen and notebook? Sure, why not? Take out it, Mathwiz. I don't think I'm going to need them ever again. Well, she certainly looks purposeful. Looks like she's writing equations. A lot of them. Huh? Oh man, she doesn't look very happy. What? Hey, no need to be ripping pages out like that. Jeez. What the hell are you doing, Clover? Give me that! Alright. At least Seven got away from her now. Maybe now I can get a look at what she was writing. Let's see. One combination works. All the dots. All the dots. What? Then there's no other way? 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 equals 18. The only way we can get through the store is if we leave June behind. Lotus. Oh, Lotus behind. Looks like she figured it out, though. Man, this is just too cruel. It's okay. Lotus. Come on, you know we can't do that. Oh, don't give me that. I'm sure you'd love to get rid of me. God damn it, you idiot! Whoa, where did that come from? Looks like she expected that about as much as I did. Without... Uh, if you're not... Look, it'd be bad, alright? For a cop, he sure doesn't have much confidence. Bad? Uh, yeah. I... If there weren't assholes like you around, I'd be out of a job. Uh-huh. Look, I'm just not leaving you behind, alright? End of story. You know, with all the bickering they've been doing the entire game, uh... I think they like each other. Seven. He's right. I'm not leaving you either. Me too. You didn't honestly think I'd abandon you, did you? Uh, you're all idiots. Act as tough as you want, Lotus. We can all see you're about to cry. That being said, however... However... I doubt we would be able to open the door anyway, even if we were to leave Lotus behind. Huh? Why? I trust you remember what happened to Ace? I couldn't, uh, see exactly what happened, but I was able to guess what he was attempting to do earlier at the Red. Oh, yeah. No! What is this? Why? The digital route should be nine! It has to be nine! Then why? Why isn't it opening? Just to see, why don't we give it a shot? Give it a shot? Yes, that is what I said. All the dots. Even more dots. Two, four, five, seven. Equals 18. One plus eight equals nine. All the dots. 
You were right. Wait, what? What? It ain't opening. But it did open nine years ago. The digital route was nine then, I'm sure of it. You think maybe they changed the settings? Perhaps. If we can't get through the door, we can't get out. The walls are way too high. There's no way in heck we would get to that hole Seven popped out of nine years ago. All we can do is stand here and stare at this door with a nine on it. I guess this is it. This is the end. All the dots. Even more dots. I thought he couldn't open the door because it wasn't a real nine. It was a six. What's going on? I was watching. This is like so Persona-like. I am thou. Thou art I. I had watched everything that was reflected in his eyes. I was listening. Every sound that vibrated in his eardrums. I heard. Smell, taste, touch. I felt everything he felt. I knew. I knew everything about him. What he was thinking, what he was feeling, what he was sensing. All of his feelings and worries and fears became mine. My mind, my consciousness was inside of him. Through the morphic field set, we were resonant and we were as one. I was him. And at the same time, I was an observer. All the dots. It started with a tremendous noise like a clap of thunder. That was approximately nine hours ago. A bomb had gone off on the ship we were on. That was when my resonance with him began. My resonant event melted into him and we became one inside of Junpei. Somehow, I found myself in Junpei's mind nine years in the future. But I didn't lose myself. I was living in two realities at once. One was the present, and the other was the future. Perhaps you could think of it as two movies showing on the same screen at the same time. Eventually, it becomes difficult to separate them and determine which movie is which. However, by concentrated, I was able to focus on one or the other. That was why I was able to grasp what's happening in front of me. Come on over here! That was my brother, Owie. He was yelling. I followed him. Around me was seven other children. They all looked like they were about my age. Come on, hurry up! We ran down a long straight hallway and burst into a large hospital room. Everyone was arguing. Two of the boys got into a fist fight. A girl watching them began to cry. I want to go home, she cried. I want to go home. Another girl slapped the crying girl and glared down at her. It has been two hours since the notary game began. We were starting to fall apart. But just when all hope seemed lost, light started talking. He was blind. Nine years later, we would call him Snake. Hello, everyone? Could you come over here for a moment? He was older than most of us and his voice had authority and dignity. The fights died down and we gathered around him. I have a little sister. She is very important to me. Right now, she is over in Building Q and is desperately trying to send information over to me. Her name is Clover and today is her ninth birthday. Aww. As he spoke, he pulled something from his pocket. In his hand were nine four-leaf clovers. I was going to give these to her as a birthday present. I was outside picking them when I was abducted. I'm sure I've already told you, but I am blind. For a man who can't see, collecting nine of a very specific plant is... Well, it is difficult, but my sister means a great deal to me. And I hoped that these would show her how much I cared for her. Since it's her ninth birthday, I thought nine four-leaf clovers would be appropriate. Every one of you has a brother or a sister in Building Q with Clover. For their sake, we have to survive. We have to get off this ship. Do you understand? If we're going to do that, there are three things you have to remember. We need trust and love 
and we have to have faith in one another. If we can take all three of those to heart, then I promise that good luck will come our way. Did you know that the leaves on the four-leaf clover mean faith, trust, love, and luck? Those words are leaf words. So if you believe what I've told you, and you understand, then I want you each to have one of these. They're a promise between friends. He gave a clover to each of us. I took one too. Eventually, he was left with only a single four-leaf clover. He had one last thing to say. Now don't ever forget, so long as you have that, we will always be connected. Do you understand? When he finished, the tension of only a few minutes before was gone. We were calm. All the dots. After that, we ran around the ship for a while longer and opened several other numbered doors until we finally found a door with the number 9 on it. In fact, there were two doors with 9 on them, and we found them in the chapel. We split into two groups and walked through the doors. You know, I just realized at the top right of the screen, it says Akane Vision. Like, I've been so focused on the story, I didn't even notice that. This is Akane. Akane is zero, or Akane is a future zero? Akane has been talking to us from the past? And that's why she's been so sick? Because technically speaking, she's not really there? Before long, we all found ourselves in a room with a ceiling that looked like an upside down funnel. For some reason, this room had another number nine, but this time, it was the only one. But if there was only one door, that meant only five people could escape. What are we gonna do? There aren't any other doors! We began to panic. Then, as if things had gotten bad enough already, Brother Aoi swallowed hard and answered. I think it means this room is gonna burn. Burn! The plaque on the door says incinerator, and that voice said that the incineration is about to start. And incinerate means to burn. No! Help me! Abject terror filled the room as everyone began to scream and cry. Every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then... High up on the wall, a door opened and a man appeared. It was a huge, frightening mountain of a man, as large as a bear. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. Don't worry, kids. I'm not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. All the dots. The rest happened just like Seven had said it did. The four of us who had stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vent, away from the incinerator slid down into the hall. We came out on the other side of the door nine. On the wall opposite of the door was a set of double doors. We went through those and began to run up the spiral stairs. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother Aoi, Snake, and Seven. The other children, the ones who had gone through the door nine before us, were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran, and ran, and ran. We left across as many stairs as we could, and just kept running. The stairs spiraled upward like a tornado. Eventually, we pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona had slowed them down. I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they had caught up. That was when I realized... Oh no! Where is it? Did I drop Jumpy's present? I knew I had it with me when we passed through the vent. Then, had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back. I had to. 
but I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would stop me. I'm sure of that. I didn't, I didn't stop to think. I just simply moved. I ran to the central hall, the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later I felt a rush of wind as they went past me up the staircase. All the dots. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could, down and down and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. I ran into the hallway and looked frantically. There it is! It was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back towards the stairs in freedom... The door to the incinerator opened, and a man stepped out. It was Hongo. Hitaro Hongo. Nine years later, we would call him Ace. Ah, oh, how wonderful to see you decided to come back. His smile made my blood run cold. I looked mechanical, as if someone had simply pulled up the corners of his mouth. Come with me. We must continue the experiment. I shook my head, my eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. One step. Two steps. Three steps. Then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hongo's hand close over my left wrist. I said, come with me. There was an edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as I could. No! Stop! Let go of me! Let... I shook my head. I shook my body and flailed my arms, trying desperately to get Hongo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. It was no match for a man like Hongo. Stop struggling, goddammit! Do as I tell you! He heaved on my arm, trying to pull me into the incinerator. I screamed. Help me! Somebody help me! Then, suddenly... Akane! The door to the stairs flew open, and my brother Aoi burst out of it. Behind him came Seven and Snake. Uh, Akane! He cried my name again as he leapt toward Hongo. You came back! I cried out. But then... Ah, you're too late! <laughs> Hongo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. Yeah, don't call him an idiot. Ah! The force of it threw me to the floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked toward the open number 9 door. Hongo stood between it and me. But be behind him, I could see my brother, his fists clenched. But those fists never reached Hongo. With a cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, the door slammed shut. All the dots. Hongo glanced at me mechanically, his face registering that there was an object there. But not anything he would consider a human being. Then he turned away and walked to the red that sat next to the door. He reached into his pocket and removed two bracelets. He weighed them both over the scanner panel. Two asterisks appeared on the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly onto the floor. What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all and walked past me as though I were nothing more than a rock by the roadside. A few minutes later... The two other doors slid shut as well. All the dots. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran toward the door with the nine. Akane! Akane! Are you okay? I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, frightened voice. Help me! My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lonely around the empty room. <laughs> Where's Hongo? He went out the other door! What? Then, it started again. Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Incineration will begin in 18 minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Holy cow. Man, I knew I was gonna... The new one... Oh wait, this is Junpei again! We're back in the present! 
Man, I knew what it was gonna say, but this is one heck of a creepy voice. I knew it! Uh, it's starting. Santa started the incinerator. Fuck! Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years! What the hell? What the hell? What in God's name are you talking about? It's nine years this and nine years that, and when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiments! You aren't making any sense! Uh, I don't blame her. Uh, All the dots. <laughs> All the dots. <laughs> All the dots. I'm sorry, Lotus, but we really don't have time to explain it right now. I promise. I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. But... <laughs> Incineration will begin in 17 minutes. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn! Uh, what kind of idiot do you think I am? I know what incinerate means. <laughs> well, god damn it. Okay, okay, fine. I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. But you have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. What? Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing. How the hell? See, she depends on him. Really cute, actually. We weren't all about to die a very horrible death. There has to be some sort of emergency shut off button. There isn't anything like that. How the hell do you know? Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah, Lotus isn't very happy about that. Can't really blame her, though. Wait. The floor. It's moving. What is this? What else can I say about it, but... What the hell is that? Exactly. We're back in Akane. What is that? What else could I say? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least, kind of did. There was a monitor, keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off. Even as more took the place and forced myself forward. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass drenched in tears. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, just calm down. All right? Everything's gonna be okay. Gah! Man, I wish that this thing would just shut up! Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. Alright, back to this thing. It's only shut up now. It's gotta be important. But, what am I supposed to do with it? Huh. Hey, move! Ah! Hey, we're all tense, lady. Doesn't mean you gotta shove people around. Okay, it's turned on. There's nothing on the screen, though. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? Sure, I'll just press buttons. I'm sure that they'll... <laughs> what the heck is this? Huh? Well, at least it's on now. What's that on the screen, though? What is this? What's up? It looks like some sort of puzzle. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across a 5x5 five five grid. These numbers range from 1 to 8. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, the incinerator will stop? Yeah. Well, we can hope, right? Alright, puzzle. How do you work? Oh man, that voice again. Incineration will begin in 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. Back with the Kane. My heart was pounding, like it was about to explode. Oh, we're both simultaneously at different points in the timeline looking at the exact same screen. And we were supposed to save someone. So we're supposed to have solved this puzzle for Akane. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. I felt a second sick by as I stared at the screen, completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears poured over them. Then I heard a voice. Hey, 
What are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window in the entry door was a face, a frightening evil face. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching me? Oh, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle on that machine. <laughs> His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back hot tears. You're a terrible person! I hate you! Oh my! How could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? That's not very nice. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. You see? I've even left you a way out. Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that, and you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? I told you, I'm a fair man. Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. The first is one, and the second is three. Say, Akane, what's your number? I looked down at my left hand. The face on my bracelet showed a five. One plus three plus five is nine. I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. All the dots. So she was five back then. You really aren't one for listening, are you? I hear Hongo's muffled voice from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What kind of fool are you? Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you could never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. Huh? Now start the experiment. Solve the puzzle. Of course you don't! Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Access the morphogenetic field and find the solution! I can't! Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> it's gonna be quite hot in there in a few minutes. I imagine it'll be very painful. <laughs> His horrible laugh echoed across the room, and even after his face disappeared from the window, I could hear it. Incineration will begin in 10 minutes. I was crying. Great gulping sobs spoken by hiccups that shook my entire body. I was terrified. I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow, Forced my shaken legs to carry me back to the device. I stared at the monitor. I can't. I just can't. There's no. Th there's no way. I can't figure this out. What was I going to do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered my thoughts, and all I could think of was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating, and my blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot. I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My heart roared in my chest as if it would pound itself to pieces. I reached into my pocket. I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get. The doll Jumpy had given me. At least I had that. I, I, I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me! Jumpy!
Akane? Akane? Who the hell is Akane? Shut up! Just shut the hell up! Seven and Lotus, just don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me. And I think Snake may have figured it out, too. No, it, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. Where'd she go? Maybe over here? Akane! Akane! Can you hear me? Akane! Say something! All the dots. Did something break our connection? I swear, I just heard her. Akane! Answer me! Akane! Jumpy! I spun around. I heard a voice. His voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course. I heard it so clearly. Like, he was right there. Jumpy! I screamed as loud as I could. Akane! Jumpy! That's her. She's there. Then, that means... Akane! Akane! Are you in an incinerator right now? Yes, I am! How? How did you know? I couldn't believe that he knew that. Now I understand what Santa meant. Right. right. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister. To save Akane. I think I get it now. Incineration will begin in... Seven minutes. Jumpy! We don't have time! As quickly as I could. I told him I had to solve the puzzle and wanted to stop the incinerator. Got it! And I do. I get everything now. At last, I finally understand what all of this means. I know now why the Nonary game was held today. I know now why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to lead to this one moment. Oh my god. This is, this is insane. I, I, I can't believe it. But there's only one possible answer. June is, Zero is, Kane Kurashiki. She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. No, 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 she's trying to save herself right now. That means that there's only one thing for me to do. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kurashiki. I must save her, no matter what. Incineration will begin in six minutes. The voice reminded me of how much time I had left. Jumpy! Yeah, I know. Just hang on, all right? I promise I'll get you out of there. I'm not going to let you die. I promise. So don't worry, all right? Just give me a few minutes, okay? Okay. My voice shook as I answered. It was hot in the room. It felt like my heart was on fire. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. All the dots. Alright, it's time to get to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way! Hey, what are you- just trust me, okay? Sorry, Lotus. I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot more at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, okay? Now, let's have a look at this thing. We got numbers all over this grid. I think the switches are out of order. Our panels. So I just need to switch these out? Staring at isn't going to accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. Ah, <sighs> just think of what I did all those times before. I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna solve this problem. Ooh. All right, guys. To save Akane. To save ourselves. We have one more puzzle to solve. And, well, what can I say? This puzzle looks crazy already. Let's get at it. Let me get my sheet of paper. Let's get my paper and pen. Hopefully we all don't die in six minutes. 
because I have a feeling this is going to take me longer than six minutes. Okay, let's do this. What do we got? P, S, uh, 5, S, 7, P, 8, 3, 6, 3, 8, 1, R, 3, W, 1, A, 3, S, 5, 0, that's an O, 7, D. Uh, let's go back to my um alphabet here. I'm going to tear this page out of the notebook. That way I have it sitting in front of me. It's got all the letters and the numbers. And I'm going to transcribe that right now. So we have um, S is equal to 28. I'm assuming these are hexadecimal. P is equal to 25. Uh, R is equal to 27. W is equal to 32. A is equal to 10. I know that one. S, we have S again. So we have two S's. We have an O. O is equal to 24, which is the, uh, the bracelet, if you remember. D is equal to 13. All right. So what are we supposed to do here? Okay, the one is not movable. Everything else is movable. So it looks like you have to replace these but what do you replace them with it said remember everything we've learned so far so if we go by everything we remembered so far then all of these have to add up either to all ice or all or they all have to add up to the same number now we have some big numbers here d d is 13 that's a low number we can't change this number out. So if we make this a D, should first figure out what was, let's first add these, these up. Five, six, one, W. Five plus six, plus one, plus 32, which is 33, 39, 44. Okay. So that's equal to 44. Now, there's no way to make that a digital root 9. Because in order to make that a digital root... Oh, yeah, there is. Wait a second. These are... Oh, these are switch outable too. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, think, 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 think. How do we solve this? Like, like seriously, how do we solve this? Because there's no clues here. What's this open one for? Don't know. Come on, think, 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 think. What if we have to make them all digital nines? Let, let's go into the theory that you have to make them all digital nines, all right? If we had to make them all digital nines, and these are eights, I think that's a clue, right? If you had to make these all digital nines, the, these eights and this one have to be the same, okay? So let's, let me redraw this picture. It's a five by five grid. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, I just redrew the picture, and we know that some of these things are shaded out, right? So it's like every other one is shaded out. 
Let me go ahead and shade them out. I'm telling you, it, it really helps to draw pictures. I'm not, I'm not kidding. If, if you need to solve a puzzle, draw a picture. All right, I have it all shaded out. Um, we know that this is eight. We know that this is one. We know that this is eight. And we know that this has to be one. Okay, that gets these four, right? Yeah, that gets these four. Um, Okay, think, 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 think. Now that you now that you have these four, how does this help you? Well, you know you have double eights here. But these could be anything, right? It's gotta be a different way to solve this puzzle. That's a nine, that's a nine, that's a nine, that's a nine. How about going across? That could be a three, right? That'd be nines. And then this is one, three, one, which is five. That's 10, which means you need 10 plus, uh, let's see here. We need a uh, four, right? Cause it's 10, you need an eight. Yeah, you need eight. So which number has a digital root that will give us seven? P. P. 10 plus two plus 25 is 35. No, that's not it. It's not P. It's gotta be one greater than P. We don't have one greater than P. All right, so it's not gonna work. So this, uh, the three or the five are not doable. So we know that not five or three, and then not five or three. I hope you're having fun doing this puzzle at home, everyone, because yeah, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Oh, uh, let's see. Now, we said that P gives us one last. So, what if... What if this is a P, and what if this is a 6? That would give us 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 25 is 36. This gives us a 9. So we got a 9 here, 9 here, and 9 here, and 9 here. So now if this is a 6, and that's a 3, then what number, what letter would, or number would this be? Um, you need something that has a digit root of 9. And you do actually have something with R. Yeah, R is 27. So 6 plus 3 plus 27 is 9 plus 27, which is equal to 36, which is a 9. So you have, that's a 9, that's a 9. The question is, is this a 9? R3P. Uh, 27 plus 3 plus 25. That's equal to... 27 plus 28 which is equal to 15 55 nope it's not gonna work because this would be 55 so something's wrong here or here god how are you supposed to solve this 
I mean, there's so many combinations to this puzzle. There's so many numbers and there's only one that's locked. I don't want to hit the hint function yet. I will hit the hint function at uh, 20 minutes. How's that? Every 10 minutes, I'll hit the hint function. Okay, let's see. If these are nines, then it doesn't matter what these numbers are. Because when you add a nine to anything, it's going to stay as a nine. So you basically eliminated these four from the board. And now you just got to worry about these nine. Okay, I, I think that might help. Then again, we could be completely wrong. and Maybe you're not supposed to make a digital nine. In which case, I'm solving this puzzle wrong, but I'm doing the best I can. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out the ones, the eights, because no matter what we do, they're pointless. They give you a nine. Um, yeah, they give you a nine. So we're good. So we just need to figure out these nine squares. Okay. Now think. What combinations will give us nine all the way around? Okay, we have two S's, which is 28. R is a 27. So R gives us a nine automatically. Um, S gives us a one. P gives us a seven. W gives us a five. A gives us a one. O gives us a six. And D gives us a four. Um, so what numbers do we have? We have one, one, no two, but we have four threes. Then we have no fours. Yeah, we have D. So we have a four. We have one, two, three fives. We have one six, two sixes. Uh, we have one seven, which is P, and then two more sevens. So we got three sevens. At least the music is beautiful. Uh, eights. We have no eights because the two eights on the board are useless. Um, and at nine, we have one nine. Yeah, we have one nine. So the question is, we have two ones, four threes, one four, three fives, a six, and three sevens. And one nine. Why don't we go ahead and throw the nine in the middle? Can we do that? Because if we throw the nine in the middle, it's R. Okay, so with the nine in the middle, th this number is unimportant because no matter what you add up, you'll get nines. So the question is, going across, going down, going left, and going up, all of this has to be now a nine. Now, these two numbers and these two numbers, um, okay, so we should just start plugging in numbers. So the middle box doesn't matter either anymore. All right, let's think. What combinations give us a nine? Okay. Um, one plus three plus five. That gives us a nine. We have two ones, multiple threes, and multiple fives. What else gives us nines? 
one plus four, then we'd have to go bigger. No, because one plus four would give us five. We can't make a nine with that. Uh, one plus six, you can't. Okay, so if we use the number one, it's gotta be one, three, and five. If we use the number three, it's gotta be three plus, oh wait, there's no, there's something else we can do. We can do one plus one plus uh, six, no, seven. You can do one plus one plus seven because one plus one plus seven is nine. Um, so you can do one plus one plus one, one plus one plus seven and one plus three equals five. Uh, one plus three plus five and that gives us nines. So these are only two possibilities if we use the number one. How about threes? Uh, we have three plus three plus three, but I think we can rule this out because that would only give us one more three. Um, so that's probably not a combination. Uh, three plus four plus anything else would not give us a nine. Um, three that's interesting. You know, we have four threes. What if all the threes were like here or on the outside? How many threes do we have? Uh, oops. So we have threes. Wait, we have fours. I forgot. If we're going to match them all up, shouldn't these match as well? And if these match, we could get rid of other numbers. So what numbers, so threes wouldn't work here because you have an eight. What numbers would give us a nine from an eight position? What numbers give us nine from eight? Um, nine plus eight plus five is a 13. But we don't have any, yeah, you'd have to do eight plus five plus five, but we only have three fives. So that's not going to work because we'd have to do two here and two here. Not necessarily. Because these numbers could be different. You don't need to have perfect symmetry. So we have 7, 11, 14, 7, 14. The only thing we'll know for sure is that this is a 1. So what numbers from a 1? We said there's only two combinations with a one, right? It's either one plus one plus seven or one plus three plus five. So if we say this is a three, we can say this is a five. So that's nine. This gives us a five plus eight is 13. So we need another five here. Five plus one is a six. So you would need a three here. Oh, but that won't work. Five plus eight is 13. That's uh, that's 18. That's nine, but it's not gonna work here. <sighs> What's gonna work here? What is going to work here? Okay, think, 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 think. And it has to work across too, right? It's gotta go this way and this way. So five plus three is not gonna work. This would have to be a four. And we only have one four, and that's a D. Uh, D is 13, plus five is 18. That'd be a nine. Uh, 13 plus five, then you have a one here. It's not gonna work. So this D can't go here. That means a five can't go there. 
What number do we have a lot of? We have a lot of threes, right? Yeah, we've already established we have a lot of threes. Um, we also have a lot of fives. We also have a lot of sevens. Let's see what seven does. If this is, this has to be a two then. But we don't have any twos. So we know this can't be a seven. That means the sevens basically have to go on the outside, right? Um, well, if this is one R1, that'd be two. Um, which means you need a seven here. Which is, you only have one four. So what you could do is you could put a four here, which is a D. And then you can put three here. Uh, one plus one is two. Two plus D is 13, which is 15. 15 plus three is 18. This is a nine right here. So this is a nine, that's a nine, that's a nine, that's a nine. So if this is a nine, let's try the other way because these are eights, right? So that's 16. If that's 16, in order to get to a nine, we would need the number 27. So 27 minus 16 is equal to 11. We would need 11 here. Now, if this is a D and a three, D is 13, that's a 16. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Unless the D is down here. Wait, this is an eight. That's not gonna work either. Let's go back to the D. Okay, so this is D plus three plus S. What is S? S is 28, which is basically one. D is four. Four plus one plus three is an eight. Uh, so this needs to be a four, but it can't be a four because then it's not gonna work here. So that means D or S is wrong. If this is 19, that means the S has to go. If D is 13, which is a four, four plus three, you need a two. We don't have a two, so that can't work. Ah, this is infuriating. Of all the puzzles in all the world. Okay, I said 20 minutes, right? We'll look past. Ah! When I press hint, numbers appeared in empty spots on the grid. They're all single digits. I get the feeling the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. But this square at the bottom, why does it say blank when I press hint? Let's make some despair. There's some, is there some special meaning to there being two modes? What could it mean? I'll look like the one in the bottom right. Does that mean they're supposed to match? Maybe I need to make all the numbers in the squares the same. If I switch out a yellow square, the numbers that show up in the hint change too. Looks like the numbers are affected by the adjacent squares. For example, when I switch out 3 with 5, the hint number increases by 2. I bet the hint just adds the surrounding numbers. What? Ah. Uh, okay, so this has helped me get to the nines. You know, I have a feeling this is like giant cheating right here. Because it doesn't feel like I'm actually solving the puzzle. I'm just working till I get a nine. But yet, even when I get a nine, most of the answers should be two digits. But each square only has a single digit. It must be calculated a different way. Digital roots? 
The digit with it always end up as one digit. Yeah, I know. I figured that out. They're nines. Add the numbers. But there are letters here, too. Yes, I, I know all that. I mean, yes, I've done that. I think I have to just this puzzle up top. I just need to make sure all the digital roots are the same. Or what number? The channel yellow square affects all hint squares around it. Wait. But one square doesn't get a hint number. The ninth spot at the bottom. Only this one stays blank. Maybe a fixed number goes inside. So the ninth square has a different rule. I only know what number goes here. Isn't it an R? But how do I move the R here? Like, how do I... What, what's the point of this square? So I don't get what this is. What is D plus three? It's four. Four and three should it be eight. D is thirteen. Thirteen plus three. Wait. Thirteen plus three is sixteen, which is a seven. This should be a seven. Oh, but the one right here is an eight. Oh. Maybe instead of adding them diagonally and horizontally and all that, maybe it's just supposed to add up these. So therefore, this number here has to be nine based on these three numbers added together. So if I take O off the board, O is six. Huh. You know, even with this hint, I will say that this is the most complicated puzzle I've ever looked at in my life. <laughs> at least right now. I mean, every single puzzle is game. I feel has been fair, except for that one brain puzzle, which I still don't understand how that thing works. And someone please comment in the comment box below and tell me how that one works. Um, but this puzzle, it seems fair. It just is so complicated because you have to add everything up. So basically this one has to be P. Right? I mean, this has to be P because that's the only way these can be nines. So we know that this one is absolutely correct. This one, well, we know this S has to be correct because without this S, this isn't a nine. So we know the P is correct. We know the S is correct. The A, we know is correct as well. So this seven and the five are not correct. Now, if I work over, this five needs to be a... Okay, nine, 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 which means this R is wrong. What is A? A is one. So you have one plus one is two, plus five is eight. Seems to be a one. A one. No, it needs to be a two. We don't have a two. Since we don't have a two, 
that means something up here is wrong. Which means the 5 is probably wrong, which means the 3 is probably wrong. So the 5 needs to be a 6. Which means this needs to be a 4. What is the 4? 4 is a D. We need the D. Okay. I thought that worked. Why did that work? But it's what we need D. Wait, what if I went the other way? Instead of needed D, we needed a two. Can't. Twos don't work. Uh a one. What if we need a one here? Um How many ones do we have? We only have these two ones. So that means this has to be a one. No, those are eights. But we don't have any twos. So the six has to be a seven. Okay. Now this one, D is a four. This needs to be an R. And I said that earlier, this needs to be an R, right? So those are all nines. Ryan, this is correct. This S. Because if the S isn't correct, the 7 and 1 aren't going to be correct. So let's work on this 3 here. We had a seven, it was the letter P, but the letter P is way down there. How do I make this a nine? I mean, if I change this S, it changes this nine, so I can't change the S, and I can't change the one. I can't change the R, and three makes it a five. So I need an uh, plus four, I need a seven here. That gives me a nine. And then this O is a six. What is S? S is 28. 28 plus seven. It's basically a one. One plus seven is an eight, so I would need a one here. I can't have a one here. I have a one way over here. Urgh. This puzzle. Drive me bananas. Okay, I think I will probably put a cut here and I'm gonna do this off camera um, because all I'm doing is flipping numbers and I can't imagine that's very exciting. So I'm gonna put a fast forward function here and you can watch me at super speed try to figure this out. So I just had his hint a bunch of times, and he said if I reset, the bottom almost basically spells out a word. And I'm looking at this, it says I, I abs, I abs, oh, 
one abs I don't know what the five is. I'm getting too confused. I should reset. Cleaning start should clear my head. Maybe I can figure out the answer easier that way. I need to find the password. Okay, now it looks like he's just repeating himself. But he did say that, um... I need to find the password. You talk about it spells out a word. Oh. What if this down here is supposed to spell a word? And what if the numbers are supposed to be up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count. Uh Junpei is seven uh six letters. Akane is five. Kiri Shiki is more. Gonkao, no. What word? Hold on. Different train of thought. Uh. Arr. Pencil, pen. Um. What letters do I have here? I have S, P, uh, R, W. And then A S O D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have S P R W A S O D. Man, this puzzle is just so complicated. By the way, when I was said it, look at all the uh Look at all the nines that suddenly appeared. But wait, what if you're supposed to swap out? So W is five, right? So what if you're supposed to swap out the W with the five? The seven is a P. Swap out the seven with the P. Um. The uh, three, I don't know. There is a 10, which is a one, which is an S. Is three swapped. Is three swapped. Okay, it doesn't help. Um, we still have, oh, we had a second S, right? Okay, S, S. Let me reset again. Let me try again. Um, S is one. Okay, so this should be S. Three. I don't have a three. What about the five? Five is a W. The seven is a P. Sass whopped. Well, let's sar swapped. This almost looks like this could be sword. Sword. And then we have Oh, this is password. Oh, I'm so thick. Hold on. Password. Ah. If that's password, then everything here should be all numbers. So I just need to figure out how to solve this part now. How do I do that? Um. I don't know. Uh, put my pen up here. Let me lean back on my pillow. Ah, uh, scoot up a bit. I need to get a drink. I've been playing this for a very long time now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, let's take this one number at a time. Let's take out a three. 
No, wait, let's pick the three back. This needs to be a four. So let's get a four from somewhere. We don't have fours anywhere. Okay. Well, if we don't have fours anywhere, this five one's not gonna work. Okay, that's not gonna work because this number here is not gonna work. Because you need a two here. You don't have a two anywhere. I need to find the password. I found the password. How does that help me? I just reset. Password. How does that help me though? Maybe if we just put them like this. Oh my gosh, that's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Oh. I hate you, game. I love you, game. But I hate you, game. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.